Set to the backdrop of the Mitchell Kiefer Memorial Ice Rink. Today, Governor Whitmer signed a comprehensive distracted driving law into effect. That rink is named after a Michigan State freshman who was killed in 2016 by a distracted driver. Since then, his family has made it their mission to end distracted driving traffic deaths and injuries. Our Michael Martin shows us how this bill is aiming to save lives. Now, we uh, obviously can't bring our loved ones back, but um, this legislation will help uh, save hopefully all of your loved ones. Steve Kiefer lost his son Mitchell seven years ago to a distracted driver. And I just want to thank all of the victim's family because we put our heart on the line when we tell these stories to try to get uh, legislative change and, and behavioral change. And it's really uh, the only way we're getting it done. Kiefer first shared his son's story with Governor Whitmer when she was then a candidate for governor in 2018. There's a, a beautiful memorial just in that room to Mitchell and you can't help but get teary just looking at it. This um, young life caught cut short by a distracted driver. Now this legislation marks a promise delivered. And to see a family who turns their pain into a cause to protect other people is a, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen as a public servant and that's why I think we need to listen and we need to take action where we can to prevent other families from dealing with this most horrible trauma. The current state law prevents people from texting while driving, but drivers can still scroll on social media and even stream videos. This new law makes holding a cell phone or looking at one while driving illegal. This legislation will save lives. Distracted driving has been has been proven to make our roads more dangerous and put families' lives in jeopardy. States that have enacted similar legislation have seen distracted driving related accidents fall by anywhere from, as was stated earlier, 9% all the way up to 20%. The signing of the legislation is timely as summer travel gets underway. AAA calls the period between Memorial Day and Labor Day the 100 deadliest days. Governor Whitmer says so far this year we've had 322 deaths on Michigan roads. Last year, the total number of traffic deaths 1,120. Whitmer's goal, zero traffic deaths by 2050. But as she reminds us, each traffic death is more than just a statistic. It's a human being. It's a person with a story and a family, a life cut short. So let's keep our eyes on the road and off of our phones. Let's save lives and build a brighter, safer Michigan for everyone. Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. Exceptions to this new law include hands for use of cell phones and emergency calls. It officially goes into effect on June 30th and makes Michigan the 26th state to sign hands free legislation.